Wow, it's a really big book. Yeah, it made a really nice thud. Yeah, well, I've lived a pretty long and sprawling life. This is actually even abridged. Oh, wow, someone wrote a book about you? I wrote a book about me. Oh, it's an autobiography. Spiders in the Shape of Me, a memoir by Dustin Charles Hamlin. Oh. oh. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yes, thanks. How did you how did you come up with the title? Oh, I was, I was stuck on that for a while, and then uh, one day it just came to me, you know? Oh, yeah, sure, m maybe. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little confused by it. Here, maybe it'd help if I read an excerpt. Oh, yeah, yeah right. sure. I yeah. mean, just go um, ahead and read it. That's fine. Do that? That'd be um, really good. That'll just do it, and I won't just hand it down. You can read a couple of pages. Read one sentence or two sentences. Oh, this is good. As I stood in the checkout lane, I felt the mass shifting beneath the dermal layers stretched thin around my form. Lately they feel restless, and as consolation I occasionally surrender complete control of my limbs to their collective writhing. Together they seem to compose some sort of will beyond mine. Maybe it is mine, it's hard to tell, but I strangely don't find myself explicitly frightened by the prospect. I shuffle forward in line as the lady in front of me finish checking out. I have money in my hand because money is the thing you exchange for goods in this world. It's strange how willingly I am accepted as an equal being based on my outward appearance. I worry I'm not doing a good job of fitting in. Well, that was... interesting. Did you like it? Is this... This is your autobiography? Y yeah, I don't, I don't understand why this is such a point of confusion. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. I mean, not that I think that I'm specifically important or anything, it's just... I know I haven't done much to warrant this, so it could seem like a gross exercise in vanity. This is really long. It's, I really wanted to put it down somewhere, you know? It's, it's really more for me than anyone else. I know I'll never be able to tell anyone the truth of what I really am. My wardrobe has been carefully selected to only include garments that cover them up. But even knowing this, I still can't help myself from checking my form over in the full body mirror for visible seams before leaving the house. How can I ever explain that it's harmless if handled responsibly? How can I explain to the love of my life that I won't sleep in the same room as her only as a precaution that some rogue explorers won't venture into her mouth and make a home out of her as well? That the me she looks at and says she loves, the face that smiles at her and says I love you back, is no more me than a sad flaccid scrap of punctured latex is a balloon. Is this what you meant to write? Why are there spelling errors? Good title.